Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. You loved my last Dollar Tree DIY and farmhouse inspired videos, so I knew I wanted to make another one. And this time, these are three easy DIYs where I copied things I saw at Pottery Barn. And we are doing them from the Dollar Tree for so cheap. <laughs> First up is a rustic wood palette sign. I actually had a piece of wood sitting at home, but even if you don't, you can get one cut like that for free. It's literally like a dollar. I went through and I sanded it down and then I scuffed it up using a flathead screwdriver to give it that rustic look. We actually ran out of stain this week and I didn't wanna go spend like eight or $10 on stain. So I decided to use shoe polish from the Dollar Tree. Yes, shoe polish. It comes in a pack of three and I use the brown all over the wood and it works exactly like a stain at a fraction of the price. I actually really like this color. There's lots of techniques you can use to make the sign, and one of my favorites is using Dollar Tree contact paper. This works really great for bigger images or things that you wanna have really clean lines on. I printed off a free rabbit silhouette, and I stuck it underneath of the contact paper and traced it with a Sharpie. Then going over it with an X-Acto knife, I was able to peel out the inside of the bunny. Break off little pieces of painter's tape or masking tape, whatever you have, and stick it all over your design. That way when you peel this back, it's not going to rip. I've had lots of projects actually rip when I try to use contact paper, so don't skip this step. Carefully peel back the contact paper and then set it where you want it on the wood. Remove your painter's tape and you're ready for the next secret, Dollar Tree Mod Podge. You want to apply this using a sponge applicator in a dabbing motion all the way around the edge of the stencil. This is because when you use stencils, they tend to bleed. Have you noticed that? If you do this step, it will not bleed. And then I just used leftover paint that I had, it was actually a paint sample, and using a dabbing motion, put it onto the wood palette. Again, it's very important not to brush it, you want to use a dabbing motion. Once it's dry, peel back your contact paper and you've got the cutest design. And if there's any little mishaps or things didn't go just as you wanted, you can always touch it up with a brush. But I love how crisp of a line this gives. It looks so professional and you did it using Dollar Tree stuff. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Next up is a cute mini topiary planter. At Dollar Tree, they sell terracotta pots in packs of two for just a dollar and mini styrofoam balls. From a recent flower project, I had one of the long floral stems left, so I just stuck the styrofoam ball on it. I covered it with green moss, and then I stuck that into a mini piece of styrofoam, hot glued it down, and put it right into the terracotta pot. I added a little bit of moss to it, and I have this super cute topiary that I literally made for just a couple of dollars. And finally, we've got my favorite spring wreath. So I was on the Pottery Barn website and a lavender wreath cost $79.99. Who would pay that for a wreath? I could not even stomach that, so I knew I wanted to try it using the bushels of lavender from Dollar Tree. I cut down the flowers and using floral tape just wrapped it around the stick form wreath. I did that in kind of alternating colors all the way around and it made the most gorgeous wreath. I think I just used 10 bushels plus the wreath, so for $11, looks like you spent so much more than you really did. You can get some Pottery Barn inspired stuff from the Dollar Tree, the little bit of elbow grease, and I think a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you give these products a try and if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up and I know you wanna see more like this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, Carson. I'm gonna tell you some Easter jokes and you try not to laugh, okay? <laughs> what do you call a mischievous egg? Um, <laughs> a practical yoker. What do you call a sleepy Easter egg? He's exhausted. <laughs>